Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you step by step how to create and host your own token website or any other kind of website. Now I did a lot of videos like this guys but you've been asking me to do a very detailed video on how to set up for uh, beginners. Uh, I'm gonna do this time everything you need including what you need to download the the platforms and the apps I use and everything else from scratch until uh, the launch so uh, I'm gonna use this source this website which you can get uh, from my github I will leave the link of my github on the description you can get this website and a lot of other stuff I've been posting on my github for over two years now so there is a lot of stuff that uh, will help you with your project and it's all free also if you need more stuff than you see here uh, you can always reach out to me and get stuff done okay so uh, this is how the website looks right now and after you download the source from my github the first thing we need to do is we go and download XAMPP. XAMPP is uh, an app that allows you to host your website on localhost in order to uh, do the testing and edits and everything else. So go ahead, click on for Windows if you have a Windows PC, Apple or Linux. I already have uh, it installed so I don't need but uh, the download it says download will start automatically as you can see here it started after it's fully downloaded just click on it and install after you have installed it will be installed to your uh, local disk C and you go to XAMPP and you have a lot of folders here but we will only need to use hdocs you can see this folder here you can also move this to your uh, uh, desktop as you can see i have a lot of files here but for you it will be empty and you can keep all your projects there okay so only we we need only hdocs after that uh, we download our website if you haven't yet let me find it uh, okay download the source uh, zip you can use save link as or just download it to your downloads and then uh, paste it to the HD docs but I will send it right away select HD docs and it will be in my HD docs folder here as you can see after that you can extract and make sure because it will be in a folder you need to get the files out the folder you can do that by cut and paste it here so as you can see I pasted the files and now I can go to XAMPP here is the app and just click start it started already but you only need to start uh, this uh, the first one click start go to uh, localhost and you will see the website online and now we can go ahead and start making changes on our website using uh, the visual studio click on the files open folder and select HD docs you will see the files here and you can start uh, doing changes let's go to HTML file 
Okay, so here we are. Now we do the same thing as usually as I explained. We can change uh, the text by just searching it. You can see here we change, uh, let's say, dodge. Uh, I have it on autosave, but you uh, can just simply click save or set the autosave on. And anytime you make changes, it will autosave. So we can just go reload and it says uh, dodge instead of uh, baby X. So you can see here, same works for the links. You can simply search it by a right click, copy link address, go to Visual Studio, search it and you will find it. So you can replace it with your actual links. That's for the text and the links. Now for the images, it's also pretty easy. We go to our assets and we find where we have the images let me see okay so it's this one to the assets we can go and easily replace our images by simply deleting these and pasting new ones with the same name or can do just simply find the image save as Go to asset and it's JPEG, but you can still do it uh, top by just searching it. Okay, I guess I have uh, because it's different if it's not PNG. The format is not the same, but we can still do it. Save as, go to the assets, saved. Now you can go here, copy the name, delete. PNG because we have PNG in the code and it should be updated. Let's find where this is assets. Okay, this should be updated. Again. Ah, okay was doing it wrong this at the, uh, the whole time I forgot I had this open so as you can see we updated thought what what's happening okay let's try one more save which one we want to replace let me see on the website okay we want to replace this one Copy the name, delete it. Paste. Add PNG. 
Now this, I'm doing this just with random images from the from Google, but uh, if you have your own images, you can do the whole thing, you know, take your time, uh, do the uh, the right size of images and everything, you know, because uh, obviously this is too big and this is also a little bit big and not good quality, but uh, this is just to show you how you replace them, but you can take your time and uh, customize the images. Now, as you can see here, we changed the images as well. And uh, as soon as you change the other information, the, like uh, the text, the info and everything. Also down here, it works the same way with the links. You simply uh, copy link address, search it and replace it. Okay, super easy. After you've done everything right and uh, you have uh, you like the website as it is, you can go ahead and host. Uh, I will show you how to do that right now, but just I want to remind you that uh, if you do a mistake on the code, you know you add something or you remove something, you can simply go uh, back, you know, uh, using Control uh, U and it will go back like let's say I deleted this by mistake uh, control U and it will go back or I added something it can always be fixed okay now we like the website what we do is we go to the HD docs the files that we edited we select them all and uh, we zip it when we zip add to archive when we zip we add a name so we can remember click zip and we have it here now the next thing we do is we go to uh, Netlify which is a platform that allows you to host websites it's uh, all for free and you only pay if you want to get a custom domain okay so uh, I have uh, signed up with my github but you can sign up with Google or uh, a lot of other platforms easy to sign up okay add the sites here click add new site uh, deploy manually Deploy manually means you can simply paste the zip file here and it will be live. Okay, as you can see here, click preview. Oh. What happened? why is this uh don't tell me i forgot something okay you need to make sure you don't forget any uh files when you uh yeah i forgot the asset let me do this one more time i forgot the asset when I select it make sure you don't forget anything because uh, it will be messy okay okay let's do this again you can always update okay click on deploys and paste you can also start over but i will just re-upload again okay it says it's published let's preview okay so it works perfectly 
Now, if we want to, uh, if we want to add a domain to this, we can always uh, go and set up a custom domain which will cost normally like everywhere you know like 10 15 dollars a year or something to set a custom domain for now it looks like this and uh, if you want to add custom domain your own website you simply click here and pay it okay so uh this is all guys i hope it helped uh, make sure to check out my github and get the source code this one and a lot others make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, i'm gonna see you in the next video thanks for watching and if you need something more advanced or anything in the crypto space you can always reach out to me and hire me to work for you Thank you. Bye.